One of the coolest things about blockchain is some of the unintended consequences a good blockchain solution might have. Let's look at an example. Right now there is a lot of attention being given to how blockchain might be used in general for supply chain relationships and specifically in the food supply chain. Let's pretend that you have a very young child and your child has a serious pesticide allergy. So of course when you go to the grocery store you make sure that you only buy the produce in the produce section that has the USDA organic label. And it's just a little sticker that goes on the produce. So you buy your produce and you stand in the checkout line and you feel pretty good that the produce you're buying actually is organic and has been treated with all natural pesticides and won't make your young child sick. But sometimes you wonder, standing in line, how do I really know? How do I really know that someone didn't just print up a bunch of these stickers in their basement and apply them at the last minute? Well, blockchain can go a long way to solving that problem and providing much greater insight. Let's say you're standing in the grocery store one day and instead of the easily forged stickers, you're able to pull out your phone and scan a QR code. When you scan that QR code instantly on your phone, the entire life cycle of that piece of produce pops up. You can see the date that it was planted on the orchard. You can see after it was planted that an organic pesticide company came along and treated it with an all-natural pesticide. You can even verify that the pesticide is natural by seeing the ingredient list in that pesticide. And finally, you may see who actually delivered that produce to the store. Let's say that there's a new green electric trucking company out there, Ed's Electric Trucking. Ed has seen all the fancy new Tesla semis, he thinks they're great, and he is committed to providing a transportation and logistics company which is also environmentally friendly. Now in today's world, you don't have a way of knowing about someone like Ed and his electric trucking company. There just aren't good ways for folks in the B2B space to communicate their business value directly to consumers. This is an interesting potential byproduct of using blockchain and smart contracts as a business solution. Not only would I as a consumer have greater insight into the origin of that produce and feel much better standing in the checkout line, but maybe what Ed's doing resonates with me personally. Maybe I'm a very green conscious consumer I didn't know there was such an organization as Ed's. And I have to buy a few more things while I'm at the store besides produce. I have to buy some deodorant, some shaving cream, and some laundry detergent. So when I buy that deodorant, shaving cream, laundry detergent, I only buy the ones that were delivered by Ed's Electric Trucking. This gives Ed and other B2B players a new and exciting way to establish brand and gain mind share with the consumer that they currently don't have. It certainly was not the original problem we went to solve with blockchain, but many times when we apply blockchain to a real world problem, we find out there are a lot of unexpected benefits just like this. So look for blockchain not just to transform the areas that we're aware it might make a difference in, but also to provide some new, exciting, and unintended benefits.